Hello and welcome to Insight of Thermology. This is Dr. Amrit welcoming you to another lecture on hypertensive retinopathy. Today we are studying the four important classifications of hypertensive retinopathy and how not to get confused between them. So the first classification that we will study is the modified skis classification. This modified skis or skis classification is actually given specifically for the acute or the malignant hypertension. Now, in my video on the hypertensive retinopathy pathology and clinical signs, I have explained to you what are the acute changes that occur to the hypertension or what are the changes that occur in malignant hypertension. So, considering all those changes, the modified skis classification was designed. So under this grade 1 hypertensive retinopathy means that there is barely detectable arterial narrowing. Grade 2 hypertensive retinopathy means that there is obvious arterial narrowing. In particularly there is focal irregularities. Then grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy means along with the signs that you see in grade 2 we will also have retinal hemorrhages, cotton wool spots and exudates. And grade 4 is uh, grade 3 changes along with the disc involvement that is papilledema. So uh, to summarize grade 1 is basically something uh, which is very difficult to detect and grade 2 will be very obvious narrowing of the arteries along with focal irregularities. 3 is always your 3 things that is hemorrhages, exudates, and cotton wool spots and 4 is the advanced thing when the papilledema that is the disc is getting involved. So, as you can see in this first picture, we can see some, uh, some amount of focal changes. So, this will be your grade 2. And then again here you can see cotton wool spots, you can see hemorrhages. So, whenever these are present, this will be grade 3. And then here you can see the disc edema or papilledema is there. So, this will be your grade 4. So, remember modified skis is for the acute changes in the hypertensive retinopathy. Now, if there is a modified sheath, there should also be some classification for the chronic hypertensive retinopathy. And yes, and that is the sheath classification, which considers the arteriosclerosis or the atherosclerosis of the vessels and subsequently gives the following grading. So then we have the stage one or grade one in which we will have widening of the arterial light reflex. Now, in my previous video, I already told you what is meant by the arterial light reflex. The normal vessel that we see on the fundus will look totally red in color, in which we are seeing the blood column, the blood which is flowing through the arteries. However, as the thickening of the vessel wall will occur, the light is going to get reflected from this thickened wall. And now we are going to see a broader uh, reflex from those veins or from those arteries because of the light getting reflected from the uh, blood vessels and we are not going to see this blood column instead we are going to see different colors of that blood column because of the light reflecting actually from the vessel wall so based on that we have the she's classification stage one is the widening of the arterial light reflex in which the width of the vessel will look bigger then we have the stage two in which there will be arterial venous crossing signs as I told you in my previous videos, the three signs are the Salus sign, the Bonnet sign and then there's a Gun sign. So all these two signs and whenever AV changes are there, they represent stage 2 hypertensive retinopathy in the chronic hypertension classification. Then we have the stage 3 hypertensive retinopathy in which there will be copper wiring of the arterioles. And then we have the stage 4 in which the uh, arterial reflex will look somewhat silverish or whitish in color and that is called the silver wiring of the arterioles. So as you can see over here, this is, you can see there are AV changes and you can see this is a broadening of the arterial reflex. What I mean to say is now the blood column will change, uh, change its color and it will be very obvious to uh, the vessel wall which is not usually seen will be more obvious and that is called the broadening of the arterial reflex. Then in the stage 2 you will see gun sign, salus sign and then there is a bonnet sign also. So AV changes are stage 2 according to the sheets and then these are the copper wirings. Okay, So this is stage 3. And then we have this whitish wirings or very similar to the sclerosis of the vessel. This is the silver wiring or stage 4 retinopathy. 
Then there was another classification that was Keith Wagner's Barker's classification. This was not a very widely accepted classification and because it was a little bit confusing because he was actually, um, they actually clubbed both the acute and the chronic hypertensive retinopathy changes together into one classification. So let us see what are these classification. Grade 1 is mild or generalized constriction of the retinal arterioles. In grade 2, so in grade 1 you had generalized and in grade 2 we are having definite focal narrowing of the retinal arterioles along with the AV nicking and widening of the arterial reflex. In grade 3, as I told you already like in the modified sheets, there are three things called mool spots, hemorrhages and exudates. And in grade 4, similarly here also there will be papilledema. On top of that, you can also consider the retinal edema. So as you can see, constriction was in response to acute changes and widening of the arterial reflex was a change seen with atherosclerosis or chronic hypertension. So therefore, Keith Wagner's Barker classification is including both the acute as well as the chronic hypertensive retinopathy changes. Now, as this was very confusing classification and it was not giving significant prognostic uh, value to us, then we had another classification. So now, before that, let me just uh, explain Keith Wagner uh, with these examples. So in the first picture, there is generalized narrowing of the vessels. So this is grade 1. In the second picture, you can see this AV changes. So this is grade 2. AV nicking is nothing but when the artery, which is atherosclerosed and thickened, and that is pressing over or nicking a vein on its course, that is called AV nicking. Then again, this is grade 3 because you can see cotton spots. You can see exudates and hemorrhages, so grade 3. And then here there is disc edema, retinal edema. This is grade 4 of the Keith Wagner. And this picture over here is actually showing a focal narrowing here. And this will be grade 2. Now, as I told you, this was again modified by Wong and Mitchell. So this was the fourth classification of hypertensive retinopathy by Wong and Mitchell in 2004. So in this, there were only three mild, moderate and accelerated or severe hypertension. So under the mild hypertensive retinopathy, the following signs were there. Generalized arteriolar narrowing, focal arterial narrowing, AV nicking, arterial uh, wall opacity that is silver wiring also. And in uh, moderate one, we had those three changes, hemorrhages, hard exudates, cotton wool spots, microaneurysms. And in the severe one, we had optic disc swelling. Now, if you ask how to remember this Wong and Mitchell, just remember that whenever the risk gets involved in hypertensive retinopathy, whenever you have papilledema, that is usually grade 4 or severe hypertensive retinopathy. So in Wong and Mitchell also, it is, it is coming under the accelerated or the severe hypertensive retinopathy. The hemorrhages, cotton wool spots and the hard exudates, which were usually forming the grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy, are present over here in the moderate one and remaining whatever changes that you saw related to the vessels whether it was spasms or AV nickings or silver wiring also is coming under the mild hypertensive retinopathy according to the Wong and Mitchell. Now why they are telling it is a mild hypertensive retinopathy is because Wong and Mitchell was actually comparing it with the systemic associations. Now if a patient has mild hypertensive retinopathy according to the Wong's classification the association with stroke, coronary heart disease and cardiovascular mortality is very, very weak. Whereas if he has moderate hypertensive retinopathy, there is a very strong association with the stroke and cardiovascular mortality, renal dysfunction. And if it is severe hypertensive retinopathy, there is a very, very strong association with mortality and even renal failure. So these were the four classifications of hypertensive retinopathy.